In February, the U.S. touted the defeat of the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. Defeat of ISIS in Iraq and in Syria. But since that pronouncement, ISIS has slowly regrouped and grown. Obviously, ISIS has not been defeated. Right? I think we all now need to acknowledge that um, no sort of rhetorical dance will result in the actual military or political defeat of this organization. Uh, it can't be done by tweet. Uh, it can't be done by, you know, a press release. And while the group has lost a lot of territory, they continue to thrive on the Internet. The primary threat that is manifesting right now is what they call inspired attacks. So ISIS has less of a pretension to come and attack the U.S. homeland. What they're using very skillfully is social media, uh, online radicalization, recruitment, and even training videos. And some experts are worried that the group is not only regrouping in Iraq, but also in new areas like Afghanistan. So I think Afghanistan ranks as a, as a pretty good soft target for, um, you know, reigniting the ISIS movement. Uh, Experts like Linda Robinson from the RAND Corporation say the Taliban could play a role in keeping ISIS out of Afghanistan. Given a reasonable stake in the future of Afghanistan as part of a negotiated settlement, then they kind of own the problem. They will want to secure the territory for their own benefit. Security experts also think ISIS could also be trying to establish ties in Pakistan. For Nadim Yaqub, Amanazar, VOA News.